is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here this will be a spoiler free review for madam webb madam webb is directed by sj clarkson who co-wrote the screenplay as well along with matt sazama burke sharpless and claire parker now it is starring dakota johnson sydney sweeney celeste o'connor isabella merced uh tahar rahim mike epps emma roberts and adam scott now this film is revolving around madam webb cassandra Cassandra Webb, if you will, forced to confront revelations about her fat about her past paramedic Cassandra Webb forges a relationship with three young women destined for powerful futures if they can all survive a deadly present. Now, Madam Webb was immediately off my must see list once the trailer dropped. I went into this expecting trash simply due to how a lot of the story was doing what it saw fit rather than being an actual adaptation on the Madam Webb character that I grew up with. Not that Madam Webb, of course, is the first superhero film of recent memory to take liberties with the source material and be inaccurate to its source material. But what got me interested in seeing this film once again was the assault it's enduring from other critics currently. I even had a conversation with Drum Dumb, shout out to you, about seeing this film after we got our invites. And after seeing his tweet, I was glad to have skipped my screening. So now that I've watched it, I am happy to say that Madam Webb didn't make me angry or upset, but that's mostly because I wasn't really interested in this film at all. Once that trailer dropped, I was completely out. I was willing to give it a chance, but once the trailer dropped and after I saw that, I stopped tweeting about it really. If you notice that, I, did, I haven't really talked about the film at all on my channel because I just lost interest. And I don't typically cover superhero things anyway, but it, I love Spider-Man and Madam Webb just lost all of my interest once that trailer dropped. But this is definitely another poor effort from Sony and its Spider-Verse. Cassandra Webb, our titular character, is a paramedic that unlocks her powers one day while responding to a call. She longs for a relationship with her deceased mother and the newly unlocked powers will assist her in trying to come to grips with a relationship she can't have to the or have in the way that she would, of course, long to have it since her mother is dead. The other girls, Julia, Anya, and Maddie, are all bland and squandered characters for the most part. Maddie is a bit of a problem child. Anya's parents are behind on rent, but there is a twist related to her father. And then Julia lives with her dad and stepmother because her mom is in a psych ward. Madam Webb does nothing to really make these girls worth investing in. Each of them have parental problems, and those are things that make them sympathetic in nature, but you're kind of just tossing all of that stuff at us. The screenplay's failures to explore this in a compelling way makes Cassie's efforts to keep them safe uninteresting. So, like I mentioned, it's just throwing those details at us. Rather than seeing them and their struggles, it's just told to us in a motel scene with a few sentences from each girl. Oh, I sh my dad did this, my mom did that. And it's like, okay, well, I'm not experiencing any of it. So I can't really feel all that bad for you outside of the fact that I'm thinking to myself, damn, that's tough. How these characters talk can be tiresome as well because there's a lot of exposition dumping when it's not necessary, mostly related to our villain Ezekiel. Ezekiel himself is an awful villain. His presence is never intimidating or cause for concern, which makes the girls' fears laughable at best. And sure, I get it, yes, it is scary if a strange man is wanting to kill you for no apparent reason. That's a very horrifying thought. However, the time we the viewer spend with Ezekiel does him no service to make him a believable threat that we should take seriously or even get remotely behind on why the girls are scared of him because I'm not scared of him. You've failed to make him intimidating in any capacity. Now, however, aside from this, Madam Webb's biggest sin is ironic since it's a superhero movie. The lack of action is quite baffling. If Cassie driving a taxi into a diner, speeding through traffic, and premonitions count for action, then Madam Webb didn't understand the assignment. Because if that's what qualifies for action in your superhero movie, that's just a F on all accords. Hand-to-hand -hand combat is few and far between. A lot of the story is just Cassie wandering the streets like a stray cat. There's irony in my word choice there, but I'll let you guys see the film first. If Madam Webb had a better structure, it wouldn't be such a chore to sit through. That's the bottom line in God Honest Truth. Johnson, Sweeney, Merced, and O'Connor deliver subpar performances across the board. Every performance comes off like they 
had something better to do. O'Connor injected some energy here and there thanks to her delivery, which was stellar compared to the other ladies. There's almost no chemistry between them, so the way their relationships progress feels forced at best. Emma Roberts, who has about six minutes or less of screen time, was the standout as Mary Parker. Her facial expressions and her line delivery was easily the best thing about the film when it comes to the performances. S.J. Clarkson simply didn't put their best foot forward here as the director. I don't understand why most of the lines are delivered in such a I couldn't care less fashion. There's nothing really distinct about the performances, nothing really distinct about a lot of this movie or anything unique about what's on my screen. The jokes never land and they feel out of place or just completely awkward. Madam Webb's editing choices are its second biggest sin because the quick cuts and whip zooms become unbearable as the film progresses. The film is just bad y'all. It's not so bad it's like it's not bad in a good way either. It's just this is so bad it sucks and I'm not ever going to watch it again. Madam Webb's prose mostly stem from the subpar performances, how unintentionally funny it can be, the soundtrack, and the brief appearances of the ladies' costumes because those didn't look bad despite those costumes getting like maybe three minutes of screen time at best. I don't know what Sony is doing with their Spider-Verse but they keep dropping these duds. This is another dud and another stinker in 2024. I hope that I start seeing some very good movies because I'm on a streak of just watching trash. I would give Madam Web a four and a half out of 10 because I'm not gonna say it's worse than Jeepers Creepers 3 despite my joke tweet that I put out yesterday <laughs> because they had similar Rotten Tomato scores at the time. It's not worse than that film. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and this video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.